what are you doing for the rest of the day, huh? Uh, working until like four, three thirty, four. By what time when you get home? Packing. By what time when you get home are you high out of your mind? Uh, I don't know. Forty-five minutes after I get home, I get home, walk my dog, and then I smoke. Oh, I'm going live tonight. I Hell forgot. yeah, dude! I have to do that. Hell yeah! Maybe you can ask those fans I do that why every they Monday. fucking. You can call out the fans for fucking those bullshit questions, maybe on your live tonight. Okay, but I go yeah, live on my channel every Monday at five o'clock. Every Monday at five o'clock. That's an advertisement promotion. for Fan Jerry. If you guys want to see him, selfless um, side chat five p.m. God, my cat is fucking cute. Look at him over there. He's now, um, listen, Fan Jerry, um, you uh, we're excited to have you back on the channel. I heard the video is going to be a doozy. You know what I mean? It's going to be a great time. Are you excited to be back? Hanging out with Danny yeah. and and getting you know a higher caliber uh, pussy. Yeah, exactly. You ready to do some blow with your boy? It's not. It's not bad to admit that some organizations help you get better pussy, and the Danny Bowler regime it can, I think, lead you in the right direction. For example, Swolby when he was in Vegas, he had sex with a woman. That was very beautiful. You will see in the video. Oh, stop um, it. Yeah, but if you have to pay for said pussy, does it really count? No. no. What do you mean? No. He didn't have to pay for it. I didn't pay for it. It so, was free. Oh, so we'll free be it, it was just a, it was a fan of the channel. You know what I mean? And she had the right attitude. The girl at the the hooker place. No, the girl oh. the girl that came over. The fan. The other fan. one. The one he banged all night. That. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's true. Fan. He did get some pussy. Um. But the other two times where we got pussy through the channel, was we paid for, we paid it. for it. But it's still, you know, he still, it was kind of like having batting practice. It still counts. It was kind of like having batting practice. Jesus, I am getting secondhand high from your fucking, look at this smoke in front of here. It looks amazing. <laughs> Let me hit that um, beat ski. Yeah, I'm pretty <clears throat> mellow right now. Look, oh, everybody's fucking partying now, huh? <laughs> hey, no, they, what is this, Jeez. dude? It's anarchy here. I'm about to ask for the yeah. talkies. You're the one who the told talkie? everybody to drink the fucking. I'm about to. I don't want the Mar Jägermeister. I didn't tell everybody to drink the Jägermeister. I said, well, I did. I basically did. I announced it right at the top, and that's fine. But listen, Fan Jerry, we want you to know that we're excited to have you back, and uh, your the, your pussy potential is only going up. It's only going up, and it's not bad to admit that. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I would work at a place that was harder. Like, for example, if I was selling appliances, and the guys at Best Buy got the most pussy, but they got paid a little less, and maybe verbally abused a little bit and maybe sexually abused a little bit by the by the boss but the more pussy came from it i would take that trade 100 out of 100 times what about so you what Shorty? you're saying yeah, is I'd that you for sexually abuse just take the other employees all day, wherever you at work. the end of the day wait, wait, i'd wait. be making some money exactly exactly but wait say that again fan jerry you're saying what what you're saying is that you sexually abuse employees wherever you work I I didn't say that I do it, but Based. do I do I maybe work with a guy? Yeah, that you imply might it. be implied. I'll take that as a solid. He doesn't sexually abuse people. He just has sex with them. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> look, Fan Jerry. Um, you know, it's not your your relationship with Danny. I know that it's 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 a rocky one. I mean, anything like you. You got something put up your anus from this man, so I get that you have your relationship with him. You're close to him. And Very it's an close. interesting relationship, to say the least. And yeah, well, you look, have a this stick is up your ass. Hey, sh why would yeah. why do you keep <laughs> saying gay <laughs> jokes, Fan Jerry, to me? Why know. do you why are you doing that to me? I don't understand why you keep attacking me and my because sexuality. Because it's time for you to come out of the closet, Leo. Everybody already fucking knows, and it's time for you to just admit it to the world. <laughs> I'm just trying to get you to do that. Listen, I can't. I can't admit it. I have to stay in the closet. I'll tell you why. My father, he would kill me. Keep it. He would disown me, and I can't do it. I can't. Yeah, you need his money when he dies. So I can't. Actually. Also, I'm waiting just like like fucking Colton from uh, The Batch. I'm waiting to like when Netflix gives me a big deal, like a big like. Did seven... you just bring up a Bachelor reference as if I would know what the fuck you're talking well, about? Well, well, guy, it's pretty big news. A guy on The Bachelor it was came out ago. of the closet. He came out of the closet like a year oh. ago, though. Bag it. Yeah, Jesus, oh, Sobe, stop it. <laughs> um, he came out of the closet, so I'm waiting till Netflix gives me a big deal um, so that I can come out to my dad, like, on camera, and then, like, the whole, like, on all my friends and shit, I'll do it on the channel and shit. You're like, so I'm waiting for that. But when that, till that day, oh, 
I got to keep it together. Now, Netflix, Netflix, Netflix will buy just about anything. They'll buy anything. So let's just shoot a. We'll shoot a movie. Why don't we shoot a fake? And we we'll sell it to <laughs> Netflix. Or do we shoot like I coming out of the closet? We'll make it, if it's out. woke enough. They'll they'll sell it. Yes. You know. They'll, anyway, they'll buy it. Um, and on that note, uh, Fanjaro, but listen, we're excited to have you back. We don't care if it's for selfish reasons, you know what I mean, or anything like that. And. I don't think the puss. I don't believe the rumors that the that like what the fans are saying that like the pussies run dry for Fan Jerry. He's in a dry spell and he's really worried that he's never gonna get pussy again. And the likes are going down and that's why he wants to come back to the channel. And he doesn't really like Danny. He's just Do I doing it because Danny ever actually got me laid. Oh, he's never gotten you laid. No, I don't. Bang I guess people like he that. interfered with you banging his girlfriend. Which have was, have have the ten thousand followers gotten Jerry laid? Ask him. But that. have you have your followers gotten you laid once? Because that would count as Danny getting you laid. I don't. First off, I wouldn't classify that as that. And second off, no, I don't <laughs> date people like that. You don't. You're you're serious. You're looking for Miss Wright. What are the qualifications? Yeah. You know, why don't we put it out there, everybody? Let's help Fan Jerry find his mate. What yeah. are the qualifications? Literally everything that you aren't. That is so <laughs> mean <laughs> that you would say that. I don't know why you keep attacking me. This is absolutely, this is honestly flabbergasting and really surprising in many ways. I don't know why you're doing this, Andrew. It hurts my feelings, though. Because I think it's fucking hilarious. You'll be okay. All right, so listen. What are the things that, what do you look for in a woman? Tell us some of these traits. Uh, uh, breathe. She can breathe? Well, I would she, hope. Yeah, she has to be able to breathe. Jesus uh, Christ. If she breathes, she is a thought. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I'm really worried about you. You're a full-blown <laughs> drug addict. You need to go to Marijuana Anonymous. My cat looks high right now. I don't Based. like it. Um, I can't believe you smoke so much in here, Dino. That is uh, not against, it's against the rules. Now, listen. Continue. Uh. Uh. What else do you? What do you look for? Do you want? Do you not? Do you need like a nice perky ass, or it's like more about her personality, or is it the body that you enjoy, or what? Or a, it. is it an age thing? Like what? No, it's not an age thing. All right, so but you don't need to. You don't need her to be just freshly eighteen, do you, or anything like that? No. Okay, good. So she could be under. Good, good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you asshole! He said no more of those jokes, dude. God, the, people have been writing pedophile on his page for months and years. Don't you think that's terrible? Like, it's enough. It's not. Yeah. Thank you. Fan Jerry, how many years have people been writing that you're a pedophile under your <laughs> pictures on Instagram or anything you comment Almost or anything? three, three years. So, so working for Danny Mullen has resulted in a, a fan base in that. writing that's pedophile. That's the most I've gotten out of it. Okay. I see what you're saying. What is he looking for? All right, keep going. What are you looking for? Uh, I don't have, like, qualifiers. All right, so you said she doesn't have to be fresh 18, but uh, Austin mentioned that she doesn't have to be younger. That was a joke. It was what, <laughs> it was a reference to what we don't want to talk about anymore. It's I want to get it stricken from the record. Fan Jerry is not a pedophile, all right? Nor does he even have the inclination to be. Okay, Solby. Okay, O'Neal. Yeah, yeah. Father O'Neal, you understand that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not the one who said it. Okay, I'm just saying, you were talking it up. You were talking it up before the pod, all right? Talking a lot of shit about Fan Jerry. Uh, do you know uh, O'Neal <laughs> O'Neil Drone Photography? Uh, do you know him, Fan Father Jerry? Because Neil. he, he no, had some words to say so. to you. He was saying some shit about you, and then me and Swole, we were like, whoa, 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 that's our friend. Like, everything that you see online isn't exactly true. Don't believe the headlines. Guess you know we'll have I mean? to do a boxing Father match. Father was stepping out of line. Dude. dude, wait, did you hear that? Would you do a boxing match against Fan Jerry, Father O'Neal? Shit, Brooks did it. I might as well do it too. Holy shit! I actually uh, time out. I'm taking shit. that one from my, my channel, dude. Fan Jerry's gonna fox <laughs> box Father O'Neill. You heard it here first. You better go Virgin oh, Mary shit. style. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit, dude. Um, he's a virgin. So be, I don't even know gentle. who it is. I'm assuming it's the some name of the father of the son. Kid. I'll I'm honestly, make... you guys look like very, very much in the same weight class, and even I would say the same athletic uh, kind of build. I think you guys would be, be, be a good matchup. It'd be a good fair fair matchup. You took your shirt off on the on the, <laughs> yeah, on, the on the Patreon <laughs> pod, and he looks he's all muscle. Let me tell you, he's jacked. He's ripped. All right, so continue. What else um, are you looking for in a lady? You said um, I don't really have said, qualifiers like that. 
Come on, what do you mean? Give us have somebody. Something. Give us the proportions. Big titties? Do you want? You want? You want, you want? You want a big tit but smaller nipples? You don't like the big tit with the big nipples? Pet you don't like those? No, nah, like not those a dinner huge plate fan nips. of giant areolas. Leo, like he the... just wants someone who accepts him for who he is. Okay, and it... his attractions are his attractions, and it's not that big a deal. He said all he cares is that she breathes. Yeah, you did say that. If <laughs> um. Status. What about her teeth? Do you care if her teeth are so yellow that it looks like you could, you know, it looks like somebody pee, freshly peed on them? You don't care if they're that yellow as long as her breath doesn't no, stink? No, probably. Yeah, as long as her breath doesn't stink. So fuck the yellow. It's all good? Well, you can clean, You can fix that pretty easily. You can fix that? Do you ever get yeah. your teeth whitened, Fanjiri? No, I don't go to the dentist. That's when my teeth are yellow. Yeah, dude, Fangieri, can I tell you something? I've talked shit about your teeth before behind your back, and I feel bad about I'm it. I'm not That's surprised. <laughs> but I said, I fucking Fangieri, I think he has some game. I mean, look, I'm going to tell him the story. People have forgotten about this story, and you can say yeah, this did happen. And Fangieri, it was kind of one of the funnier and most, most legendary things I've seen done in L.A. basically ever. Fangieri and I went to a very ritzy club. Do you remember this night, Fangieri? Yeah, I do. It was the Doheny with the room chick? with the Asian chick. Yes, it was the Doheny room in West, in like Beverly Hills, West Hollywood. Very high end, very expensive to get in. Gay bar. Very expensive drink. It's not a gay bar. It's a club upstairs. Why would you say it's a you gay said bar? West Hollywood, Beverly Hills. I know adjacent. That. It's not not all of them are gay bars. Swolby. There's a couple. Probably the ones you've been to. So it was a gay yeah, bar. Yeah. How do you know where they're at? Because I deliver to them. You delivered it. No, you fucking, fucking delivered what? Solby's danced at the Abbey before. Anyway, listen. <laughs> I made some money that night. Listen. <laughs> um, so we went to the Doheny room, me and Fan Jerry. Okay? And Fan Jerry, within 15 minutes. Okay, first of all, I, I used the batch card to get in. There was a huge line. What the fuck? Are you guys having conversations without. Like, what, what's going on over there? Don't fucking talk without. Sorry. All right. So me and Fan Jerry. <laughs> I used the batch card because I didn't think we were going to get it. I have no idea how it worked. They let me into this place, the Doheny room. Me, I have Fan Jerry's in fucking sandals. Will you you confirm that story? Yeah. yeah he was in cargo sandals? Shirts and sandals. Sucks. Cargo shirts and sandals. We're talking about a ritzy club where guys are in suits in this club. So we get in. Within 15 minutes, my ex and me, wingman Fan Jerry, an Asian chick, mm. that to be honest... Would have slept with almost anyone there. Fuck yeah. But Fan Jerry was making out with her within 15 minutes. Feeling her up. And it was a grand old time. There's a video on my TikTok of it, in fact. Now, this is what then happened. Fan Jerry decides it was a good idea to put in the biggest dip I've ever seen in my life. Right in the middle of the club and start spitting into a glass cup. Just puts the biggest dip in. She goes, what are you doing? Ew. And walks away. Uh, oh, <laughs> Fucked up the game, player. And then at the end of the night, what happened, Fangeri? Where did we see her? Oh, yeah. Going into some other random dude's car. Yeah, she was going into some other random dude's car. Could have been Fangeri. Could have been Damn. the one and only Fangeri. What was going to do? Take her back to Danny's place? Got Fan Jerry dick yes. that night. Dude, you could get a hotel room, Fangeri. You know what I mean? It's like 100 bucks. Come why on, is, dude. Why would I spend money on that? 100 bucks to, to you know have a nice, clean place with cockroach-free. Some Asian that, pussy. That smells good. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Some tight Asian <laughs> gash. I think, I think, I, yeah, some tight Asian gash, as Solby says. Why don't you get off the, uh, you know, the fucking antidepressants? Yeah, I'll tell you why. It, I think it'll help you. You said it, it takes away your sex drive completely, right? Yeah. I think you, it, isn't it better? I'm depressed, but I have a sex drive. Like, uh, Dino's depressed, but he has a sex drive. You know what I mean? Like, we're all depressed, but we have sex drives. You might as well take the depression and have the sex drive. Don't you think? No. Why? So, so keep the depression, but Mine's deal with it by worse. having lots of sex. Yes, of keep the drive. depression, but deal with it by having lots of sex. That'll naturally raise it, the dopamine level. Eventually, it will backfire on you, and you will then still be depressed. You really do have to work on yourself more from the inside and find other things to like and expand your horizons and not have all of your happiness and pleasure derived from sex. You have to be a true intellectual like and find something else. I just have like depression. 
I know, Fan Jerry, I'm kidding. I know I know that there's a lot more. I, I'm not a doctor, and I, I wish I could help you. I just think that maybe me and you should go to the dentist. Maybe we should go to the dentist together, and they should really – I think you should get your teeth whitened. Would you do you that for pay me? For it? I'll pay for it. Well, he'd probably sure. need to get his teeth checked for cavities. I think they would need to, like, x-ray your teeth. They might have to smoke a couple of them, maybe remove a couple of them, which is totally fine. Um, I think that it could it could really help with, you know, overall um, look, too, when they're super white. I want you guys in some pearly whites. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but then I dip it'll go in a day. Well, stop fucking dipping or go to the pouches or go to the zingers, the zings or whatever. The zins. That, yeah, go to the zins. It's just nicotine. Anybody ever hit some zins? Yeah, I fuck with redneck I've pillows. Before. I've tried oh, it before I've a few them. times. Yeah, so we'll be called them redneck pillows. Is that what a zin is? Yeah. Look at Brandon. What did you call them? Of that shit. Um, I think you guys need to realize something. All right, so, uh, Fan Jerry's on the on the come up. All right, Fan Jerry, let's tell everybody you're you're gonna just this 2022 is gonna be your year. Is it? I think so. You got yeah, come on, man. put it in the universe, dude. Come on, you got this. Hopefully, if I can find a place to live. Oh yeah, what's going on with that? You have to move out of that roach shithole motel, motel or whatever the fuck you live at the Hitching Post. It's time to smoke that place. They're gonna they're gonna level it. I heard. Is that true? No. God no. damn it! They're not gonna level it. No. What's going on with the Hitching Post? Nothing. So they're not. So why do you have to move? Because I'm relocating my job to L.A. Or Corona, correct? Yes. Yeah. Are you excited to be closer to Danny? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm excited okay. to be in LA. Hopefully, I can go to like the Ha Ha with Ali more. Hell Your yeah! Your cat's dude. trying to drink the Jaeger. Dude, my cat is drinking the Jaeger. He's a fucking legend, dude. He's having a great time. Your cat is drinking I Jaeger. Well, he licked the bottle. He wasn't I I brought him to the uh, I brought him to I bring him to the pod sometime. I bring him to the Patreon pods like a, every time, but I brought him to the main pod because you know what? We need a little star power here. You know what I'm saying? Do you know how you? Yeah, your cat Jesus. with no ears. Do you know? Okay, now we're going to the. We're gonna <laughs> say bye, Fan Jerry. Yeah, Fan Jerry, stop talking shit. We're gonna say bye, Fan Jerry, <laughs> and uh, we want you to know that we love you, and we don't care. That you're coming on simply to get more pussy and stuff on the channel. It's I welcome that decision. I welcome you coming back just to get some pussy. It's a good play. And we're sorry That's about all that fucked accusation. up shit those fans were saying. Yeah, yeah. we're sorry, dude. Seriously, the fans, I don't know what the fuck they were that thinking. Was fucked up. I don't know why they would write those kind of questions to you and stuff. And I I feel bad. Did we have one more though? Somebody found I think we do, yeah. We have one more. Um this one's from Jeff Wittick. Um and it says it I like goes, how every wait. single person picked other people's names so they could hide themselves. <laughs> from yeah, the seriously. Situation. The There's so much picked... of a pussy that they can't even sit a lair long enough to like get their question answered with their name yeah. attached to it. Yeah, this yeah, one they cowards. have to make up like a fake name. <laughs> yeah, um, cowards. Uh, this one it says, "What kind of shit do you take in the morning after a night of drinking Mike's Hards?" To the dome. You just, what? You disappeared. Oh, okay. Sorry. Let me <laughs> let me hit you with it one more time. This guy says, Jeff Wittick from Arkansas says, what kind of shit do you take in the morning when you've been absolutely pounding Mike's hards all night? You fat motherfucker. I, that's, that is just. This is rude. It's fucking. Yeah, so that's not cool. Dope. That's Unbelievable. I'm man. sorry, dude. Nice. But I, but he is. But it is another health. But question. it is an interesting question. It is a good question. Yeah, I'm sorry that I said that. What is uh? What do you have to say? Do you what does the Mike's hard do to your uh, digestive system? Nothing. It's seltzer water. It's basically seltzer with just sugar, huh? No, it's got one gram of sugar in it. Wait, what? I'm gonna start drinking some Mike's hard, man. That that those taste like poison, though. Tastes like battery acid, man. I drink the seltzers. The Mike's Hard oh, seltzers. Now you're, wait, now you're drinking seltzers? Yeah, I have been. What about the lemonades? I don't really drink them anymore. All right. Well, listen, now we're going to we're gonna um, make Dino do a prank phone call because I like to stimulate his brain every now and then, you know what <laughs> I mean? And I do a lot of prank phone calls on, my, on Leo's Lair, my podcast, and I think it's a good exercise. I think it makes you kind of think on your feet quick, and he can, like, 
rap a little bit. So yeah. I feel like it's the same sort of improvisation, thing, the same sort of improv. Yeah, if you can yeah. rap, you can prank. You remember that. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Pranks to rap. You're a prankster to rap. It's just like prank rapping. Anyway, so you got any ideas? What should he say to an, to an optometrist fan, Jerry? To an optometrist? Yeah, it's a prank. Tell We're him that an it's optometrist. a. Uh, what what's the what's the term for your butthole with an eye? Your what? The term for like an for... asshole, but it's like your brown eye. Oh, so I... this, you should ask questions about that. Oh, the brown eye. I get it. I, that's actually pretty funny, Fan Terry. He should keep mentioning his brown eye. I kind of like that. Do you like that? It's genius. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 300 all right. IQ. It's actually genius, Fan Jerry. I really like it. All right, listen. Go back to work. Fucking, if you want to jerk off, it, we're not going to tell anybody. I'm not going to tell. Nobody's going to call in and tell oh. anybody at your work that you're mid work off. jerk. I don't. I do not think. Yeah. Would Swolby a little mid work jerk, huh? Yeah. I yeah, think you guys are done. really good Wait, at not getting Shulby? people fired from their right. jobs. Have you ever so. jerked off in the Amazon truck in the Amazon? Oh, of course. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. No hey, you heard it here first. There, dude. Well, you heard it here first. An Amazon employee is admitting that he's jerked off inside of that goddamn gotcha. van. So maybe that's a good title for the uh, podcast. <laughs> That, you think that's a good title for the podcast? It should be. I mean, look, Fan Jerry, everyone knows here. Everyone Amazon knows. employee admits to jerking, jerking off. off in van. Hell yeah, dude. That's it's pretty funny, actually. Should we, should we get a picture of Swolby in his Amazon gear and then uh, and then put that as the pod's title? Although, he'd be fired. He'd get fired. He would be fired. But also, although, how about this, though? I mean, Fan Jerry, it's obvious that you said that Mudflap can't see his feet. And you did call him out. You basically said he's I way fatter than you. It's not even here, You're bro. Fat Jerry, then him, bro. who is who's the guy that's fatter than you and the crew? You got. Oh wait, say. I think I know. Who? Is Leo. It? <laughs> it's Leo. <laughs> Leo to Tavia. <laughs> you guys, listen. I don't know why you guys attack my weight like that because you know that I have an eating disorder. You know that it hurts me the most. Cats out what, the what kind of eating disorder do you have? <laughs> I've th I've at least binge and thrown up at like at two times in my life. I'd say I'd, I I was bulimic twice. That's not a disorder. You only did it twice. It doesn't. Count. I mean, I know it doesn't count. I'm just I'm joking <laughs> that it's a disorder, but that's kind of funny. But I, you know, I'm still. If you do one gay thing, you're gay forever. That's true. So, so that's a whole does, different realm of is fucking. It? So Shit, if you dude. throw up once after eating like the Romans did because you read about it and you were like, oh, the Romans would throw up so they could keep partying. So I went, I ate so much and I drank so much and I just was like, you know what, I'm going to throw it up so that I don't feel bad in the morning. That doesn't make you believe Yeah, that's just called throwing up the alcohol so you don't fucking Well, it wasn't alcohol. Like it, there was food, too. There was Detoxing. A lot of food. There was a lot of food, too. You're detoxifying your body. It's one of those parties. All that, right, yeah, I'm out of here. Fan Jerry, fuck off. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, again, sorry about the last fan saying I thought it was going to be at least like a decent one. To oh, end sorry, on, I'm on but... the phone, bro. Give me one second. Uh, no, no worries. Right, get, you can go. go. You can go. See you, buddy. See you, buddy. God, the fans. Huh? <laughs> that last guy, Nicholas Cruz, is a fucking asshole. Well, yeah. Cruz, yeah. I can't believe you would say that. I would shit, just like dude. to say, because I'm going to get angry DMs. Sure. I didn't say anything bad about Fan Jerry before the show. I know. It was a joke. I was putting I the blame on him. I was trying to instigate something. I, know. I apologize for doing that. And I played along, too. So Yeah, he did. He did. Father O'Neill did not say anything. I'm not going to sit, sit here. I'm a man of God. <laughs> like, I'm not going to let him yeah, lie. You can't let him lie, dude. Yeah.